Mommy, otters are so cute. I want one. Shut up, you ignorant child. Who are you? Were you? Jay, why'd you slap my? Where are my dentures? Let me explain. Otters come from the Mustelidae family. It includes honey badgers, wolverines, and stoats, all of which seem to have some form of reverse body dysmorphia, since they don't seem to have any regard for anybody's safety. And that includes their own, because they are known for challenging animals, ten times their size, just for breathing in their direction. A wolverine once strangled a polar bear to death, just because it felt like it. I'm so bored, I wanna fucking kill somebody! Oh, hello. Ew. And as they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And in this case, the apple is a serial killing sociopath. A lot of people are misled by otter's cute and cuddly nature. Well, every other subspecies except the giant river otter. That one looks like Satan's fetus that survived abortion and is now eternally seeking revenge. But to the other otter subspecies, they are these small angels that hold hands while sleeping, Ah! But as always, nature will never fail to remind us about the absolute cruelty and viciousness of life, especially when you try to apply human's moral compass to other animals. Otters are sociopaths, in the way that they don't just kill for food or offspring. These guys kill other animals just for sport. They relish in killing other creatures. One time in the Bronx Zoo, a Javan Lutong monkey, an endangered species mind you, got dragged into the water then waterboarded to death by a gang of Asian small clawed otters. What was the crime he committed? He stood too close to the water's edge, which seemed to trigger a this guy gotta go signal in the otter's brain. Another time, a golden lion tamarind monkey, an even more endangered species, slipped and fell into the otter's pond. You can probably guess what happened to him next. One thing I know for sure is that otters couldn't care less about wildlife conservation, another gang of otters was apparently feeling a little mischievous one day. As a consequence, they crept into a family's backyard and beat the shit out of their dog until it died. Then they just left, didn't even bother eating it. And apart from committing homicide for fun, otters can get a little too wild in the bedroom. When it comes to sea otters mating, the male proceeds to bite the female on the nose, waterboard her a little bit for good measure, then force her into submission. Consent is not something that exists in otter society, nor does an age of consent, because it's not an heard of for adult otters to unleash their wizardry on pups who haven't reached sexual maturity yet. A good portion of southern sea otters actually get to meet their ancestors due to the physical trauma they receive from these rituals. And then the male otters give us all the liberty of answering the age-old question of what comes after death? And the answer is a necrophiliac. Maybe multiple ones if they're feeling a little frisky. Talk about cracking open a cold one with the boys, am I right? <laughs> and if that wasn't bad enough, otters are not satisfied with their own species. There are so many instances of them terrorizing other ones. Most commonly, baby harbor seals that they routinely mistake for being a female sea otter, on which upon they unleash their dominatrix fantasy as a consequence. Where am I? Daddy? Yeah, I'm your daddy, alright? Frank and John! It's very rare that a baby seal survives such an encounter, since they're not as used to getting hardly railed as much as an actual female otter. Adult male otters also have this bad habit of holding otter puppies as a hostage and asking for ransom, and they won't let go of the pup until food has been provided by the mother of the pup, as if being a single mother wasn't bad enough. All this is making me think that the otters have a checklist that they need to complete, and it just contains the most horrendous atrocities a species could ever commit. And since some people keep forgetting that even if an animal is cute, it is still a wild animal, otters won't hesitate to attack people. A British man was visiting Singapore only to find himself getting jumped by a gang of otters. They bit his ankles causing him to fall to the ground, then started attacking his legs and buttocks, until they were fended off by the man's friend who started screaming at them. There's also this case of a gang of otters terrorizing the good Samaritans of Anchorage, Alaska. At some point there were three reported otter attacks in the same month, and the attacks didn't seem to be an act of vengeance either. They jumped everybody without any discrimination, from adults to small children to pet dogs. So next time you think about petting an otter, think about how the only thing you're gonna be able to pet next is air molecules.